Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about what is a stable food and how do you score on a stable food competition. So I've had some questions on the community about what the hell is a stable food and how do I score points instead of uh, scores on a scorecard. So I'll start with the basics. When I started off playing, I just wrote down a really simple scoring system so that I could remember it. And then now I've been playing a long time, I generally just know what the score is. So in golf, in stable food, you translate your score of a par or a bogey or birdie eagle double bogey into points. So if we start with a par, a par in stable food is worth two points. A bogey is one over, so then you have one fewer, so you have one. A double bogey is really worth zero. If you have a birdie, you're one under, so you get three points. And an eagle, therefore, is four points. You can go lower if you're ever to get an albatross. But anything above double bogey, you don't score any points. So we'll come back to this, but this is a really good starting point just to make sure that you understand how you translate your score from the scorecard into points on a stable food. So today we're going to be playing Market Harbour uh, in the um, Fun Golf World Championships. Um, and myself, Harry and Tiger are going to play. So if we start off with me, so today I'm going to be playing on a handicap of 10. Harry's off 5 and Tiger is at a bad year. He's off 18. So um, the first thing to point out is on the scorecard is obviously they're numbered. 1 to 18. You've got white yardage, yellow yardage, which which determines how, how long the hole is. They're, they're then translated into par, so par 4, par 5, par 3. And then stroke index, which determines the, the difficulty of a hole. So 18 is generally the easiest hole on the course, with hole um, number 11 on here is stroke index 1, which is actually generally the hardest. So I'm player A, Harry's B, and Tiger is C. So if we start off the scoring in this one, so let's say we're playing the um, the second hole, I'm going to score a four. Harry's going to score a five, and Tiger has scored a six. Now you'll note that the stroke index for the second hole is two. So what that means is with our handicaps, we all get a shot on that hole. Tiger gets a shot on every single hole because his handicap is 18. I get a stroke on 10 of them, and Harry gets a shot on five of the holes. So because it's a stroke index two, I get a shot, which means that I've got a par. Minus one is a birdie, so therefore that means I've got three points. And you mark it generally with a little three. Sometimes people put a line through it as well. Harry got a five, but he also got a shot. So the five is a bogey. But then one off equals par, so that's a two for him. And Tiger only gets one shot, but he got a double bogey, which generally would be zero. But because he got a shot, you're going to take that off. Therefore, he gets one. So, yes, Craig is winning so far. Next, we're going to play the fifth hole, um, and I'm going to get a double bogey. This is a par four, par five, sorry. A double bogey is not uncommon when I'm playing. Harry, who hits it at an absolute mile, is going to get an eagle on this one. So he got a three. And Tiger, he's done a little bit better. Let's give him a par on this one. So I got a double bogey. Now I do get a shot on here because it's stroke index four. So let's have a little look. So double bogey equals zero. Minus one is a bogey. So I'm going to get one point. Harry got a three. So actually that's an eagle in normal world, but he also gets a shot on there. So he gets four. So actually he's got a net albatross. So I'm going to give him five points for that one. Wow. Imagine getting that in real life. And then Tiger, he got a par, but he also gets a shot. So par minus one is a three. So he got a net birdie. So therefore you can start to see how the scores work out. Next, we're going to play the eighth hole, which is a stroke index 18. So only Tiger gets a shot here. So I'm going to score a three, quite like par threes. Harry's going to get a four. And Tiger, he's going to get a five. And if we score that, so I get no shots, remember, on this one. So a par is two points. So I'm going to score two points on there. Harry got a bogey. He also gets no shots on there. So he got one. And Tiger, who's off 18, he gets a shot everywhere. So at stroke index 18, so he gets his last shot on that hole. He got a double bogey, which would normally be zero. But because he gets a shot, it turns it into a bogey, which would be one point. So you can start to see how you score it. 
And then what you'll do, if you want to keep track during the round, then you'll write a score. So what we've got four. So then we'll write some scores down the bottom here. And then when you have finished, if you are the marker and you're marking the scorecard for player A, then you could put down how many points they've got here. And traditionally, 36 is level par your handicap. So um, I hope that helps. That's uh, just a little starting point for how you do a scorecard. Um, if you have any other questions, then put the comments in below. But when I started out, I found something like this really simple to use. And uh, it certainly helped me when I was learning the points. And now I, uh, I will dream of getting anything below there. But good luck, have fun playing golf, and I'll catch you in the next one.